I really start, I really gotta start using a real camera. <laughs> okay. So before I get into this review, I'm just gonna go over how my ratings work. So 10 to 7 is a positive review with 10 being the gates of heaven, 9 being amazing or awesome, uh, 8 being great, 7 being good, 6 to 4, eh, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, 3 and under negative review with 3 being bad, 2 being really bad, 1 being the gates of hell and 0 being nowhere you want to go. So let's get this started. So, this is uh, a review on the movie The Hunt, the one with the pig. Um, so, not, not, not Donald Trump, I know it has to do with like politics and shit, but no. So anyway, uh, this is going to be a review of The Hunt. Uh, it's been kind of like labeled as like the most controversial film so far this year. Um, so, I'm excited to talk about that. So, The Hunt, yes, um, it's from the director that did Compliance, which is also a really controversial film, but it's also a really good movie. I was really excited to see this movie. It's got a good, like, list of actors and shit. It's got, uh, fucking Ethan Supley. It's got, um, Emma Roberts. It's got, uh, my boy Ike Barinholtz. So, you know, especially with, like, him, being in a movie like this, like something that's like so controversial, and you know, I think like 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 a horror film, if you want to classify it as that. Like, I was really, really, really excited about this one. Uh, so I've been waiting for this movie ever since it pretty much like got delayed from last year, from last September, and yeah. So I'm just gonna, I okay. So so you you know how I do my reviews, you know. Well, actually, you don't, but I'm gonna just tell you, I don't do scripts because, you know. I, I really don't don't know why I don't do why why I don't do scripts. I'm not that creative, so I really should start doing that. But anyway, so this movie, yeah, um, it's not that controversial. Um, it's not that violent. It's not that explosive. I think the plot is is alright. Like you know, like, I I I respect the plot, its story, but like the whole mixture of comedy. Like I respect that it's trying to go in that territory, but it just didn't really land all that well with me. I thought that, you know, the way that things played out, because this is really one of those movies that's like, you gotta be careful when you review it because it's like, the second that you say something that's too much info, you pretty much know the whole movie. So, you know, it is a dark comedy. Uh, it's got a lot of things that are like horror based and uh, things that are comedy based. Like it's, it, it's a dark comedy and Honestly, I just, uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, it just, it doesn't feel right having that kind of blend together. This isn't a bad movie, nor is it really disappointing. It's just, you know, obviously it's not as controversial as people say, and it's not really, it, it's not, it's a movie that doesn't really feel complete in my eyes. The ending is very kind of hit or miss, uh, but up until that point, like, a lot of the deaths and events that happen in this movie, I'm not gonna lie, are pretty creative. I, again, just don't see where all the hate and controversy comes into this film. Uh, so basically the, the plot, let's get into the plot. So I gotta be careful with this. So the plot is basically these, a, gr a group of these strangers uh, who don't know each other wake up uh, in a place that they've never that they've never been. They don't know where they are, they just wake up and they're in this area that they have no idea where it is. And they got these like fucking like, what do you call those things that like, they look, they look like, 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 chokers. Chokers! They're chokers! That's it, thank you. Uh, they're like chokers and, uh, wait, no, they're not chokers. Well, they look like you're about no, to choker, have fun. Ch chokers are the kinky shit. No, nah, this ain't kinky shit. Um, so they, they like, they're like these little clamps that like, let me just drop an image for it. They're these things. And uh, basically they wake up and they're all wearing these fucking like bonded shit. And uh, it turns out that they're actually being hunted. And I'm not going to say by who or what the whole meaning behind it is. But 
yeah, uh, a group of strangers wake up in a place that they don't know where they are, and they're being hunted. And basically, oh, like, the reason why they're being hunted is basically, like, each, like, each personal, like, like, each person has, like, their own reason why they're being hunted, like, whether it's, like, based off of something that they do, or based off of something that, like, they represent, which was, uh, which isn't really a spoiler, uh, that's just, you know, what really sets the movie in motion, but, yeah, um, this, this movie, like, it doesn't really, like, like, as a, and I know that like the plot sounds really wicked, and it is like like I said, it's a really good plot. But for what what the movie was advertising and promoting, and how it like the, the hype. hype for it was, it just there wasn't really all that much suspense or tension in my eyes. It was just kind of something that was like entertaining if you like, you know, blood and guts and just kind of over the top humor, which really isn't even over the top when I think about it now. Um, it just, you know, it was one of those movies that is pretty unique, but for the most part, it just kind of passes the time. So, that's pretty much my review, you know? It's not a bad movie, it's not a good movie, it's got, you know, a lot of good, like, it's got a good story to it, and it's got a lot of good creativity to it. The deaths are pretty creative, the, they use the R rating really, really well, just... I think the fact that it was kind of like the, the the fact that they went for the you know dark comedy kind of aspect I just don't know if it really fit well. It just it just didn't hit me very well, but overall this was a pretty solid movie again like the story, the the use of the R rating, the creativity, it really hit just the things that are most important. I don't think it really succeeded with it's not that suspenseful or tense, and the comedy isn't really that sharp. But, you know, for what the story is, and just seeing how, just trying to guess about which characters are gonna make it and what their fates are gonna be is a lot of fun to do. I, I won't personally revisit this film, but this is a, a fun film to watch, you know, just to experience it. But even then, I wouldn't go into it with a whole lot of expectation. It, it's a fun ride, though. Overall, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. So, thanks so much for watching my review on The Hunt. Um, this setup behind me is, is going to change uh, very soon. I'm, I'm going to be like really up in the quality on pretty much everything because, you know, boy's trying to get his shit together. But, yes, my next review will be Bloodshot. And, uh, yeah. We'll go from there. I'm going to be doing a couple book reviews uh, very soon as well. One of them being I'm Thinking of Ending Things and the other being Come Closer. Both horror novels. I, I love my horror reads. But yeah, um, I'm going to be doing book reviews uh, not, not as often as my film ones. But you know, every now and again when I, when I find a book and I actually fucking read it all the way through. But yes, um, this has been my review on The Hunt. So, you know, let me know what you guys think if you guys did see it. Uh, I'm not too sure how many people saw this movie, you know, considering it was in theaters for like one fucking day. <laughs> uh, but, yes, um, I'd like to know what you guys think. But, yes, um, look out for my review on Bloodshot coming next, as well as a couple book reviews. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Trailer for Pragmatophobia, April 1st.